What's up, tires? This is Jay Wood. I'm coming to you from East Rosebud Fly and Tackle in Billings, Montana. This morning we're going to do a little fly called Two Cent Caddis. And we're going to use a technique that's a little bit different for the uh, abdomen. We're going to be using marabou in a manner that you probably haven't seen before. So let's get started. I'm going to use a fire hole 316 size 14 hook with a brass black nickel bead in size 2.8 or 764, however you like to measure your beads. I've already got this thing beaded up here. Get it in the vise. Now, for tying this fly, we're going to use a technique that's a little bit different. First thing we're going to start off, when you wrap your thread onto the hook, get it started and leave the tag attached. Because this fly doesn't have a rib, we're going to use the tying thread as a reinforcement for the marabou. Now the key to this technique is to select the correct marabou. If you select something like this with these short stubby barbs on there, you're going to get a, a body that doesn't look correctly. What we're looking for are long slender barbs that are going to give us a slender tapered body. I'm just going to pull a few of these off of here, about a quarter of an inch. You can see what I've got there. Pull that off of there. Get a little moisture on my fingers. I'm going to spin those together. So now I've got that group of barbs. And I want to clip the ends to even them up. Now, tie that in right where I stopped my thread. Pull it so there's just enough of the length of the barbs left on the tips so that I can really lock them in place. And then run my thread back forward, right behind the bead. Now I'm gonna clip this thread to about the length, maybe a little bit longer than the marabou barbs. Pull the thread and the marabou barbs upward and spin them together. Now what happens when I spin these together is you get a slender, tapered, almost looks like dubbing. It's been dubbed on a hook, but it's a very precise taper. I'm sure you can see that. Now I'm gonna flip this around so that I'm not fighting the hook and the hook point and the bobbin. And I'm gonna wrap that so that the wraps are just touching and what we get is a little segmentation in there and the taper of the body tie that off right behind the bead clip it and you'll see we've got what could appear to be legs on the bottom a little bit on top i'm going to cut that off I'm going to dub the collar and I'm using Awesome Possum in black for the dubbing. I dub it on there very loosely. I want it to look really rough. Spin that on there. And I'm going to use a black marker to mark my thread so that I don't have a yellow stripe between the bead and the collar when I whip finish this off. Just wrap that over itself. Let it be a little rough and buggy looking. Whip finish the fly right between the collar and the bead. Clip it off. Brush that back 
and we've got our caddis pupa. If you want to add a little bit more contrast to the fly, you can take your marker, give it just a little stripe across the back, and you can see that gives it the appearance of having a uh, darker back on it. And there you have it, two cent caddis.